How do I shoot shooting? Hi guys, Julie Golub. I have partnered for this series of vlogs with Women's Outdoor News, a fantastic resource for women who are interested in hunting, shooting, fishing, or general outdoor adventures. If you haven't seen them, check them out at womensoutdoornews.com. If you're like me and you need a little email reminder to do that, they also have a great email subscription list. So be sure to check it out. Women's Outdoor News asked me if I would put together this little video on what gear I use to capture shooting video. So I'm gonna do it. So we can talk footage, we can talk editing, we can of course talk cameras, but the one thing that you really need to think about is the stability factor of setting up a camera, pushing the button and leaving it so that you can get great footage because sometimes it's a real pain to ask somebody to video on a stage. And if you're like me, a lot of times you're gonna show up on a squad that you don't even really know a lot of people. And there's also that downside. If you hand somebody a camera and all of a sudden all of your footage is nothing but feet. Oh. Yes, that does happen. So I find that setting up a couple tripods on a stage to get some different angles, and I'll cover all of that in a future video, is absolutely important. So we're gonna talk tripods. If you know anything about photos and videos, you've heard of this brand name, it's called Manfrotto, and it is an excellent tripod. They are not inexpensive. I will tell you this. But this is great for an option if you carry around a DSLR and you want something that's gonna be sturdy enough to keep your little expensive camera, <laughs> or not so little, you're gonna want something that's gonna keep it safe and sturdy. And these are, these are awesome tripods. And you can, of course, go even bigger and badder. But the problem is, you're gonna be carrying a lot of stuff with you. <clears throat> like this guy. This is my shooting bag. So, in addition to all of my guns, gear, and ammo, I don't want to carry around a heavy tripod or two. Enter this guy! This happens to be by the brand Targus or Targus, Tar 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 I'm not sure. But this is a Targus tripod. It's the Targus TG-42TT. And not only is it the nice little light package that you're looking for with the features that you want to be able to move around very conveniently, it also has pretty long legs, which is a good thing. I can set a couple of these up on a stage. I can carry them around in my bag very easily and get a lot of great footage. It's gonna be high enough. Granted, it's not gonna be super tall, but you're gonna be able to set these up and set various different cameras on them to be able to capture the shot of the shot. Now, the main drawback with a lightweight tripod is the fact that that can happen. That's not a good thing. So it does have its minuses, of course, but the weight far more outweighs that kind of scenario. Just keep in mind where you're setting it up and hopefully you aren't shooting in 30 mile an hour winds and you'll get some great footage. Let's talk about these guys, little guys. Bottom line, there are a lot of different options with these little mini tripods. And what you're looking for is something that's going to allow you to move your camera around to get various different angles because let's face it, you're probably gonna be setting these on the ground. You're gonna wanna be able to move the camera around to get a good shot. When it comes to mini tripods, you truly do get what you pay for. And so if I'm going to recommend anything, I suggest you invest in these. They're called Gorilla Pods and they're very bendy, which allow you to get the camera into all sorts of positions. This little guy is very, very small, which is perfect for a cell phone if you wanna put something on a dash. But the added benefit is, it has little magnetic feet. So if you're on a stage where you have something metal and you wanna get some cool footage, you can stick it somewhere and you can get a great shot. The nice thing about this particular Joby is that it's very big and it's actually rated for a heavier camera. So if you want to put a DSLR on there, it will work. It also doubles as a selfie stick. Now speaking of the selfie stick, you also get what you pay for with the selfie stick as well. And the selfie stick allows you to get some incredible footage. And this is the kind of thing that you can move around on a stage to get your friends, or you can go vlog style and do it that way. If you're only gonna take three tripods with you to the range, make them work for you. 
This is a lightweight telescoping tripod that's gonna allow you to set up on a stage to get some really cool shots. This little guy right here is a really cool option to stick on metal props, and it's gonna give you a lot of versatility. And then finally, a Joby Gorilla Pod of this nature can double as that selfie stick, or you can also put your cameras in a lot of really cool places. So, never underestimate the power of a good tripod, too or three, because if you're a one person show like me, it's very, very crucial in order to get all the different types of footage that you're looking for. Special thanks to Women's Outdoor News for the idea for this vlog and stay tuned for a future vlog on the camera equipment I use to shoot shooting. Be safe and have fun.